Hello, welcome back to it. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. Please, please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. So real quickly, I, um, there's something like a dream I had about a woman. I feel like this is like a healthcare worker that may have done something to someone's health, like they poisoned someone. Um, there's something about her like uh, taking some type of... <laughs> And I don't even know what to call this. It's like some type of medication or something they give to someone to F up their system. Um, so if someone, like an older gentleman, passed away or someone's mother or something like that uh, passed away, it was not something that was natural. There was some type of medication that was given to someone. Um, and this is why they ended up passing away. Okay. Um, maybe it didn't take effect effect as quickly as they thought it would something may have taken a long time yeah i said a long time split the deck and it went to the moon something may have taken a long time to happen but um i saw a woman in a dream giving a man something that he was not supposed to be having like it was something that was planned it was intentional it was not accidental and there's some type of cover up um of, uh, yeah if someone passed away or if someone is sick right now, there was something given to them. So maybe you all need to do some type of testing, like blood work, cultural test, or something like that. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the tarot reading. Thank you for watching to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. Uh, please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Whatever the enemy stole for you, it is returned to you, being returned to you. All evil um, plans of the enemy against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Uh, also, I now have a channel membership. Um, so if you want to subscribe to it, um, that will be greatly appreciated. Um, it is four videos a month um, for like $9.99, I believe. Um, so I'm working on uh, posting the videos or scheduling the vid videos on there. I have one video on there now. Um, so if you want to subscribe to the membership and watch, that's, those are videos that are specifically for members. So it's not available to the public. Um, so hopefully you all enjoy them. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the tarot reading um, We have someone that may be going within trying to take some type of new path Maybe leaving leaving a community and moving on with their life leaving an institution a home a family dynamic This could be an emperor that's going towards someone to give them some type of offer Someone may be afraid that when they come towards you with this offer You're going to turn them down, but they really do want to have a new beginning with you This is something that has been put on their heart by the universe by their ancestors Someone may be finding out that they have some type of contract with you and this person has been doing a lot of introspections someone may have even gone to a, a professional like a, a psychiatrist maybe a doctor or whatever the situation is apply as if it's um to receive some type of advice or some type of information um and now they want to commit to you but someone may be afraid that when they come towards you you're going to reject them because there's some type of confession someone may have to give you they may be going through some type of awakening about how determined they were or someone has been, um, when it comes to causing chaos in your life and things like that, possibly an institution has been very determined to block your forward movement and you, there's some type of truth coming out about uh, some type of payment, financial payment or something that belongs to you, your work, your intellectual properties, whatever this is. Um, there's a lot of jealousy going on behind the scenes, a lot of toxicity. People may be angry at the two of you coming together. Maybe people believe that you two have no business being together. So people may be angry that this person is thinking about investing in you, working with you, things of that nature. Um, people may be even bothered at your tenacity. They're taking any and all actions to keep this person trapped. Um, they may be even trying to trap you, the person of high honor. I keep picking up on a woman that maybe they like you live by yourself, you do things on your own, and there are just people behind the scenes just very determined to block your forward movement. They don't want you being fulfilled, they don't want you connecting with this person. This could be someone that's very high ranking in society, and the people around them think 
uh, think uh, lowly of you. They feel like you're beneath this person or they're just intimidated. Uh, so, uh, some so There's an energy that watches my platform I keep picking up on. It's like, this is a feminine energy when she looks at like someone else's picture it pisses her off i think she's angry that you want you may be very beautiful you may be someone that's very intellectual very smart genuine kind hearted hearted all of these attributes these amazing attributes that you have about yourself she's bothered about them because these are attributes that this person likes uh so she may be very pissed off yeah someone's very pissed off at who you are or who you've become uh someone has to pretend to be those things but you're naturally those things so there are people behind the scenes that are trying to find a way on how to defeat or stop this person from coming towards you to give you a, com a commitment every time he takes some type of move or try to come toward come towards you to do something to keep him in his head keep keep him stuck like tell him to sit down not, not literally tell him to sit down but basically the actions they're taking is by telling him to sit down and not even bother he will be wasting his time you will never be accepted in the society that he's in as far as like the social class the level up there or something they're telling him that it's just not feasible to be with someone like you or the work with someone like you okay it's like that uh, uh i don't know if you all have ever watched tarzan on crew talk it's like he will never be one of us it's that kind of energy someone is projecting onto you and it may solely be because of the fact that you are a specific color or you come from a specific background these people may be religious but you're not religious these are false religious people um, there could be people in this you know, institution that are just really there for money. Uh, it's all financially motivated. And maybe someone has gone within and decided to take a different path. They may not resonate with the path of Christianity anymore. So they want to move on with their life and do something different. Something that their soul is calling them to do. But they still may be afraid as well. If someone is trying to garner up the strength to move on. But they are still afraid of maybe how people are going to see them. Because I believe the society that I'm picking up on or the social class. I'm picking up on image is everything for them. It's like even if you're miserable in a relationship, you still got to get out here and pretend like you're happy. There's something like that going on in this community. Uh, but there's a man that's going within. Yeah, he wants to live happy. He wants to uh, have the family dynamic that is actually genuine. He wants to build. He wants to collaborate with you. Someone may see you as very skilled. While he's going through all of those emotions and things like that, there are people around him collaborating on how they can stop this man. This is a higher fan. I said something about institution or religion and the higher thing is coming out so this could be a religious leader within a community that does not resonate with that path anymore and that is how things go actually in life you get on one path you know you commit to that path if it turns out that you've learned everything you need to on that path and now you want to divert to something else you have the right to do that so it's going to be up to him to decide how it is he may be standing his ground choosing to move forward because he knows the truth uh, right this is someone that's going through some type of ascension and it's for so as spiritual a spiritual ascension so instead of just being someone that's religious he's about to apply the spiritual aspect of himself to it so this is someone that's going to be very wise not only religiously aware but spiritually aware and this is going to help him have some type of fresh start in life okay so he may have some type of understanding of the decisions that he wants to make now and he's taking action to do that someone may be traveling uh leaving his community to come towards maybe another institution another community or someone uh, to kind of start life over brand new and things like that so this is like someone leaving either another country another city another uh, continent to go somewhere else and start over brand new and maybe he's unsure of how things are going to play out but i think he's letting his spirit guide him which is a beautiful thing this could be someone that's in the spirit eye part of an institution maybe having some type of big revelation because he found you online or something uh and maybe taking quick action right to come in profess his love for you this is someone that has a lot of um, emotions for you feelings for you he may hide it because this is someone that's typically in his king of source energy so maybe you may not know that this person has a lot of emotions for you when he comes around you uh, but this is someone who's a planner and he's hoping that he can has have wish fulfillment with you and put this chapter to an end so that you two can work together balance something out have some type of atonement and sail on into the sunset all of this la di da da do you know this beautiful energy has someone bother someone is worried about the truth coming out and things like that it could be a woman of high honor that's about to go through some type of ending because of some type of communication about her paying people 
paying people in the justice system to more than likely keep this person trapped uh, or have you trapped, have you rejected, something like that. Someone has been abusing their power for a long time or their privileges, I should say, for a long time and it's, a back, it's about to backfire. So someone could end up, maybe they're about to lose some type of relationship, go through some type of karma. This is a whole family that's about to go through this. A queen of pentacles reverse, queen of cups reverse, queen of wands reverse, uh, a reckless man out here that considers himself to be an emperor, not an emperor. This is an emperor reverse. Um, but I've been seeing the two of wands a lot, so it could be there's someone in the public eye that's interested in working with you, but people don't want them to work with you. You could be someone of high honors, a wealthy woman. It does not mean that you have a lot of wealth financially. You could be someone that's financially uh, abundant. But typically, the Nine of Pentacles has to do with physical abundance, material abundance. Uh, so maybe you have some money coming in that's going to make you financially abundant. So um, on a cosmic level, there is no past or future. Everything is, is in the now. So in the eye of the universe, you are someone abundant materialistically, right? And spiritually, you're abundant as well. So you have some type of finance that's coming towards you that's going to put you in a very beautiful energy. And these people may not want that happening. But this man is going through an ascension. There's a queen of wands is about to go through some type of humbling uh, experience. Someone is about to more than likely lose a home, lose some type of relationship due to the decisions that she made. This came out sideways, so I'm going to put it in the reverse. Uh, so whatever plan as well, that maybe they had to trap this man in him or in your path, basically, because the hermit can have to do with you going within and choosing your path in life and sticking to that path. So maybe you found your calling and you've been on your calling and people have been trying to do things to end you. However, the universe is all over it. Like, they're taking care of that situation. Whoever is taking this new path in life, um, is choosing to not self-sabotage anymore. Whatever direction they chose to take, it helped them escape some type of situation. It helped them free themselves from some type of bondage, some type of horrible karma they would have went through, and now things are being balanced out in their life. Um, there could be a queen of wands. Maybe she's trying to turn a new leaf, making a decision to move forward with life, uh, maybe focus on her own destiny instead of trying to take other people's destiny. I don't know. Maybe I don't, I really don't know. Maybe she's choosing to self-master herself. Um, kudos to her. Kudos to her. Hopefully she sticks to that path. Um, yeah, right here. So whatever this is, uh, there's some type of like narrow escape that I'm hearing. Like, I don't know if this is like you, you narrowly escaped a karmic family that was working really hard to trap you, to block your pathway. Maybe they were trying to take something from you. Maybe your relationship, maybe some finance, your work. Uh, they were trying to sabotage your work and maybe you took some type of action to balance this situation out due to your commitment, your loyalty, and you're going to be able to move on. But someone narrowly, like they barely, by the skin of their teeth, like they they barely escaped a karmic family, okay? And now they're, this whole family may be upset that you are coming out of the cold, you're recovering. Maybe they were trying to deplete you of your resources and things like that. And now you're going through some type of recovery. Your work maybe is going through recovery as well. So they may, be doing, may have been doing something to hinder your work, hinder your exposure, hinder your finances, your image, everything. Um, but you're going through some type of recovery process and it has them very pissed off that they weren't trying, they weren't able to end you, finish you because there's something, some type of narrative or some type of storyline these people have been sp uh, spitting for a long time and it's just not sticking because someone is doing a lot of introspection about this whole family and they're start starting to see the truth. So whatever narrative they're trying to promote is just not sticking because it's just not the truth. And they're very heartbroken about that. Someone may be angry behind the scene at this. I don't know if this is a diplomat, a, pop, a, a celebrity or whatever. They're angry that this person is true, taking actions to move on, put an end to some type of connection with them. I don't know if this is someone religious. Um, yeah. I don't know if this is someone religious that these people are upset about or this could be the religious person that's upset that something is over or something is being restored or I don't know what it is. Like something is being balanced out, it's being fixed uh, little by little because there's some type of damage like a whole family did or someone very bitter and angry did for no reason and maybe it's going to take a while to restore whatever it is they damaged but the... 
the the fix the fixture is taking place but just slowly because someone has to figure out uh the mechanics of how someone did something and and try to undo it is what i'm hearing and i don't know um but they been with all of this going on this whole group i don't know what this is it has to be a family that is this committed to ending someone they're still trying to figure out on how they can cause you more still made you i don't like these people folks these people have worn me out i can't like their mindset the energy is that no matter what it is it don't matter who died in the family who's hurt who's sick whatever their one motivation is to stop two people from coming together or to stop someone of high honor from receiving what it is that's their that's yours like a high a high priestess an empress energy they're trying to stop you from having fulfillment so they're causing a lot of blockages uh, they've been trying to cause a lot of blockages in your life is that when you're coming out of the cold something is being balanced out they take some type of action to try to stop you uh, but they're unhappy because they're not able to you still keep moving forward i see the strength card out here the leo uh, you're too strong for these people is what they're saying is that you have overcome all of these stalemates these confusions the lies the deceits the complications they've been causing and things like that you have overpowered them also the fact that the leo is up above here is symbolic of you overpowering your enemies because they've been working from behind the scenes but they've had to watch you publicly overcome everything it is they've been doing so someone may also have foresight and be thinking about everything they may have done in the past to cause you endings this could be someone of high honor maybe the celebrity himself or herself was was a part of this shenanigans uh, but now they're thinking about all the time they took action against you. They said, oh, wow, you mean I had a contract with this person or this person didn't do nothing to me. Uh, this person didn't take anything from me and I took all this action to block them. And now they're thinking, it's like, God dang, I have to royally. They could be coming after our empress, but they know they see you, okay? Dang, yeah, whoever this is, they see you. They see you as someone that's very balanced, someone very self-assured, someone that's... um in control of your life you may even be in control of this situation and you don't know it because you're not paying these people any mind uh people may still be taking action to cause a lot of manipulations behind the scenes but there's some type of tower coming that's going to end this chapter and help you help you move on to karma waters like sail into the sunset um there's a lot of truth out here and it has people stuck in their mind is that god dang what have we been committed to these are the people that are choosing to have sense but there are people in this community that still don't have any sense or in this collaboration i should say that still do not want to self-actualize they're still out here choosing to be deceitful to be bitter to be wicked malicious all the things they don't want to hear about themselves but they get out here in indulge in right but truth and clarity is out you got the ace of swords the ace of wand uh ace of cups and uh, with the judgment card out here there's some type of um equal give and take some type of new fresh start that's coming and this is going to lead to some type of uh awakening for the both of you as well um you two may have a soul contract together i don't know why i keep picking up on like someone in the public eye I don't know why like, I keep seeing that two of wands a lot. And this could be someone that's very successful. Could be a bachelor now. And is taking some action to kind of get away from some type of situation. Like he's putting an end to a situation he's in and he's moving on. Sealing on to karma water. Someone may be heartbroken. Maybe they were in a relationship that turned out to be a false um and they're listening to their intuition and choosing to manifest something new yeah manifest something new and it's causing a tower and again that tower is helping in some type of chapter okay a karmic chapter a toxic chapter hectic chapter whatever it is for him or her yeah this is someone very high ranking and they may be very pissed off at a king of pentacles and an emperor for Holding them back, keeping them back, trying to keep them from seeing the truth, lying to them. So there's a masculine or a feminine that has, feminine that has had 
of quite a few people lying to him behind the scenes just to keep him stuck in some type of karmic situation so that he does not have a fresh start in life, does not move forward, does not take action to move forward and have this uh, victory in life. But it looks like he's taking actions towards the Queen of Cups and press energy. He has made the decision to work with this person uh bring atonement balance you know into this situation maybe defending this person behind the scenes now now that he knows the truth and this is judgment by the spirit realm for him to have clarity and this is helping him stabilize his emotions for this person maybe he thought you did something to him and all of this is helping him again move on to karma waters but this someone could be single now maybe they were in some type of ridiculous relationship before this could be a king of cups um that's about to have some type of fresh start in life but he's taking actions to balance life out someone is very worried very burdened i'm not sure maybe they've been trying to get a hold of you trying to get in contact with you um but they haven't been able to reach you because there's just so many blockages taking place um yeah dang yeah your, your strength has led to you manifesting something really beautiful for yourself absolutely beautiful and people have been trying to stop that keep you trapped and keep you from being able to manifest something they may have even paid someone to trap you to end you confuse you played a lot of mental games with you and i think you caught up caught on to all of it with you showing up as the high priestess maybe you know exactly what is going on if you're anything like myself we tend to play along <laughs> until it's time to take action and then it's dead we tend to just play along. And I think that's something a lot of people don't understand about high priestesses. It's not that we don't know. We tend to just play along with your foolishness. Like, we're not going to be rude to you. We're not going to, like, act out of character for you. But what we will do is know the scope, have the full scope, know the full one one, and still just sit there and play along with you. Like, you, you want to play? Let's play. Let's go ahead and play since you want to play my games. And people typically, they always find out when it's too late. They say, oh, you knew this whole time we were trying to own a life. You say, oh, yeah. But why were you showing up and smiling with us all, these time, all this time? Uh, well, my ancestors got me. I don't got nothing to worry about. You're going to jail, though. <laughs> yep. Dang. Like they've been paying to just have your... Then I said high priestess. Golly. Someone's been trying to play mind games with a high priestess and they don't know the high priestess is the high priestess of all high priestesses. <laughs> if there is such a thing. Um, but someone is showing up as the hermit high priestess. That's a dangerous person. This is someone, all they do is get downloads and communicate with the spirit realm. So they don't... With the spirit realm... They don't miss a beat. This is someone very dedicated to their path, their craft. So if they've been coming after a high priestess, paying to have this person stop, uh, trying to stop this person down lows, have this person not listen to their intuition, maybe this person is their intuition. You can't stop this kind of person's intuition. Some people, they, there are certain... Uh, and I'm not saying this to sound like a, a rude or something about certain high priestesses. And I think this has to do with the part of your journey you're on. But there are certain levels where it's that you're still separated from your intuition, your higher self. Um, but there are certain levels you get to, the hermit and the high priestess. That's when you're, you and your intuition are just like this. There's no separation. You and your higher self are one. There is no divide. Um, so you know just exactly what is going on. It may even terrify people. But even though you know, you still play your mute where right? you're still on mute so people don't know what it is you know they may think they're taking action to have some type of advantage over you and you just let them do what it is they want to do only for them to find out in the end that they really just f themselves royally um yeah and there's and i don't want to say that but say this but sometimes certain high priestesses myself included we will get some type of little thrill out of knowing the fact that you don't know that we know what it is you're doing and you don't know that we're letting you do what it is you're doing <laughs> it's like oh right, go ahead go ahead keep on keep on breaking your back go ahead I'm, I'm i'm gonna roll over and go to sleep go ahead and do what you want to do because <laughs> i already know how this is gonna go <laughs> i already know how this is gonna play i go ahead take, take go for it take that action take that action take that action 
I'm not gonna do nothing to stop you. Go ahead and do it. <laughs> and then when you're done taking that action, look at you. And look at you. And look at you. Because we knew the truth the whole time. We were being practical. You thought we were being dumb. We were being practical. We knew the whole time. We knew the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help us source. But, honey, everything is going to be a-okay if you resonate with this message. Whatever people have been trying to do to you, the ancestors, the universe says, is a no. Nobody's stopping, nobody's stopping your destiny. It is yours. Uh, uh, whoever is supposed to be working with you will be working with you. Um, the people that are trying to stop you at this point, they already know um, you're coming out of stagnation. You're coming out of blockages. You're coming out of setbacks, stalemates, all of the confusion. Everything is over is over with, but someone is still trying to keep something going. It's like they know something is done, but the ego, uh, someone's fear of having to actually put in the work to build their own future and not have to depend on other people being selfish and things like that. They don't want to let go of something. So they're still out here paying someone to stop you stop your your work stop your communications to the spirit realm stop you from being you basically uh stop you from receiving your abundance everything someone is very malicious and cold out here that like even this celebrity or whoever this is i'm picking up on i don't know if maybe they were in on it before probably some of you they may have been some of you they weren't but someone may have turned like a new leaf and they're just choosing to move on with life and someone does not know how to let go of this person it's like someone is very cold dependent and it's really eerie just kind of disturbing how cold dependent someone is and i don't think she even realizes how how like eerie it looks because this is someone that's trying to like if she could like glue herself to a man she would and I don't think she understands how like disturbing it looks. Like it's it is uncomfortable. What I'm picking up on is uncomfortable. I don't even want to look into it because it's so uncomfortable. And I don't know how long I think someone has been like this your whole life. And it's just it's uncomfortable. Oh my gosh. I can't. Like they've been trying to trap a high priestess. Like how 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 sway how? Why are you even wanting to trap a high priest? That's like trying to, that's like trying to catch a genie and put them in a bottle. Um, but the bottle belongs to the genie, so obviously the genie knows how to work that bottle. Like you're in somebody's matrix basically, and you're trying to control their matrix. Like the this is the dreamer that dreams the dream. You are the dream. This is the dreamer. So how are you gonna tell someone? How to dream, what to dream, when to dream. You feel me? Like this is the dreamer that dreams the dream. You are in their dream. If that makes sense. That, that, that you are in this person's matrix. Because this is like an ascendant master. Basically, with the hermit, high priestess, that's an ascendant master. So you are in someone's matrix. These are people who are in pods where when you're incarnating... They'll tell you uh, about managing your emotions. Say, hey, this is why you're incarnating this lifetime. is to manage your, learn how to manage your emotions. You're learning how to let go of toxicity. You're learning how to, you know, not uh, feel entitled to what belongs to other people. You're learning how to get out of your head being an overthinker. Like, these are the kind of people that will tell you why it is you're coming down here. So, basically, they're put in charge of you to help you. Uh, but it's almost like someone is going up against a, a soul guide. Like someone, someone that they watch could be a soul guide to them, but they are going up against us. Oh my gosh, this is a crazy download. They're going up against their soul guy. So it's like someone being out here pretending to be better than their soul guy. We need to find out that this whole time, this is the person that was supposed to help them awaken to the truth of who they are and why they are here. But she's more gung ho on proving that she's better than someone that you don't deserve some type of opportunity or some type of offer whatever this is only for her to end up finding out oh you mean you mean that's my teacher yeah that's your teacher darling you're in somebody's matrix yeah the matrix is not yours i think you feel like the matrix is yours because maybe you 
have you are attached to someone that has abundance but that's not how it works the universe don't give two f's about who you are attached to how much money you have what they care about is the soul the work that the soul has done to get to where it is so this is someone that has done the work you see how they started off with the hermit and then went to the high priestess or it can even be the other way around it don't matter they still did the work they're your teacher so you gotta sit down somewhere okay this is this here is more so on the material plane you know like when you're going within this is when you're uh when you've gone through some type of experience and you start separating yourself from society because you have a different perspective of life these are these kind of people they're wise they've gone through experiences and had the knowledge right to help other people see things from a higher perspective this is a direct connection to source to the universe the ancestors people that are manifest this energy in the upright don't have any they don't have any limits on what it is they can access in the spirit realm so someone has taken whoever you're obsessed with and trying to block they have taken the physical the material and the spiritual and put it together so you're in their matrix basically you are here to learn from them but there's something you've done where you wouldn't really even be able to meet this person physically to be able to work with them. This is like you being a groupie of your teacher from afar for the rest of your life. Something like that. Uh, because there's something where it's like this teacher may even know of you spiritually and somewhat mentally because of how gifted and in tune they are with themselves and their surroundings. Um, and it's not like they're even angry at you because one remember you are here because of them uh thinking that you could do something or giving you uh, uh giving you uh, uh some type of encouragement or opportunity to opportunity to try again okay i think you've been failing multiple lifetimes and but you've been under some type of illusion that you've been winning these lifetimes this is your teacher you've been coming after and you have Put yourself like you've jumped from the hot pot into the fire because there's something where you keep doing you and these group of people that you got together to come after your teacher. Um, you've jumped out of the hot pot right into the flames. And at this point, I don't even know what the heck is about to happen to you. Like you're if you are someone that's living a comfortable life right now, right here, it's all about to be taken from you. Like you Think about like going from living, you know, like we always say like in the Beverly Hills mansions and things like that. You got everything at the snap of your finger. You got maids and chauffeurs and things like that working for you. Or you could just be living real comfortable. You're about to go from that to it's a hard knock life. Because you have basically been disrespecting your teacher, like your soul guide. Some soul guides are in flesh. They're not just spiritual they're not just spiritual beings. They're in flesh. Some people you see, they're the way they are for a reason. That's because they are here to teach other people how to be, how to manage their emotions. And this one was yours. This, one's, this one was yours. Someone had to go. And I think I've said it on my channel before. You cannot teach people how to manage their emotions when you've never been in a situation where you didn't know how to manage your emotions so someone started off not knowing how to manage their emotions and this is something uh that was part of their contract that when they incarnate think about like a isis energy incarnating right like a high ranking person in the spirit ranking i mean uh, incarnating but when they incarnate they don't know how to man manage their emotions that's all part of their plan their contract that they have to go through all of these levels and learn how to manage their emotions once they manage it which is here now then they get here okay and they've done that so when you all were incarnating she will have been telling you before you jumped into the the whirlpool to incarnate. You're going in to go learn how to manage your emotions this lifetime. You and I ain't going to be having all this back-to-back -back nonsense. We're going to fix it this lifetime. And you say, yep, I'll do that. But then you came here and you went buck wild and did the same thing you did many other lifetimes. And now Isis is just sitting back and watching you like... Girl, I told you not to do this again. Because you you are in some type of energy where you think you're in competition with ISIS. ISIS don't compete with nothing, with nobody. That's, a, that's someone that's 
like of a whole different stature when it comes to ranking. Like that's not that's not an energy that like, competes. Nothing like that. that you, you ever met someone you're trying to be disrespectful to them and they just look you up and down and leave you standing there and walk away? That would be the ISIS kind of energy. ISIS don't play, but there's something where, like, when she incarnates most of her lifetime, she plays like initially she'll play like a naive role. And she, it's not that she's naive, it's just that she's very, she's very gentle, very genuine nature, very soft hearted. Um, and when she's when she incarnates spiritually, she's a beast. Like this is like someone is a firecracker. And this is why every lifetime when she comes, she has to learn the ways of mankind. She has to learn how to manage her emotions. She has to learn how to learn the tricks of man and what, what it is they do to keep bind you and stuff like that. Right. Um, but baby, basically what it is you're doing is going up against your soul guy and you think you're in competition with them. You're not in competition with ISIS. ISIS don't compete. That, that is one biash that does not compete for nothing. That's that, that that's one of those people that are have a PhD in giving you that bombastic side eye and leave you standing right there and walk away. So I, 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 I'm assuming you thought this was a two-way conversation with, with this argument. It's not. You're having this by yourself. But she's not even going to say all of that. Just bombastic side eye you till you have a good day and leave you standing there. Anyway, sis, I hope you figure this out with your soul guy, your teacher, whoever that is. You all, um, a good, good luck on that one because you don't want to piss these kind of people off. You see the hermit and the high priestess are very slow to anger, very slow to anger. You may think that these people never get angry and it, it, it may be so, but there's that one day you'll do something and they'll just shut you down. It's a deactivate. <laughs> Go back home. <laughs> Go back to the spirit realm because I'm about sick of this nonsense with you. I've been trying to make it work making it work and making it work but you just don't get it and some of you out here are so delusional because people try to kind of you know ease back play you know stay on the sideline not really interact when you're doing something they don't really react or nothing you seem to think maybe they're not reacting because they're dumb they don't know what it is that's going on you pull one over them no you didn't pull nothing you don't pull nothing over these kind of energies because they're communicating in the physical and spirit you don't pull nothing if you're getting away with something, that's because they're letting you. Because there's a lesson for you to learn in this situation. There's some type of lesson you're supposed to learn that you're not aware of yet. Because these kind of energies, they already know what's backing them up. So they don't need to go back back and forth with you. You two may have like conversations. But at the end of the day, they know. And anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next week. Goodbye for now.